welcome, welcome to Scotty McClue's Phone In. It's Friday night, nothing gets past me, and you're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet. Hashtag Floatai, all uppercase. How amazing is that? This is our first big Friday night phone in. So do come and join us and tell us what's what. That's what I say to you. Uh, you've got the telephone number. It's in front of you there. 0141 0141-628-9795, fast becoming the best known telephone number in the country. And I can tell you this is big stuff. We're live on YouTube, we're live on Facebook, and we're live on Twitch. We've just uh, new to Twitch, but my goodness, is that catching on. So if you're a Twitcher, Go on and follow Scotty underscore McClue on Twitch. That's the one for you, of course. And uh, lots of your calls tonight, please. Very, very interesting. Uh, what I was thinking tonight, should we make tobacco illegal? Right? Now, it's virtually banned. You can buy it in the shops. It can't be displayed. So, therefore, is it time just to phase it out? That's what I ask you. You tell us what you think about it, because any of these extra stimulants are not required. Hello from We All of Us, says God and Roberts and Dean Kino. Good evening, my heart is, says Scotty McClure. Fantastic. Now, uh, there's an anonymous number ringing. I'll not be taking any calls from anonymous numbers. So get your number sorted out so that it shows up. Very important. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scott. It's Kareem. How you doing? Oh, Kareem, fantastic. You've beaten the anonymous color to it. <laughs> How good. Scotty. Lovely to have you with us and welcome this Friday evening. What do you think of the time? I think it's fine. It's, it's good for a Friday. I think people obviously want to stay up a bit later. And, yes. You know, and there'll be a lot more chit chat. And yes, I'm looking forward to listening. And Karim, I know that you just heard about Twitch last night, but the Twitch feed is incredible. It's growing and growing and growing. I think I'm going to join Twitch just to have a wee nosy to see what it's like. Just have a wee nosy around and Scotty underscore McClue, uh, you know, you'll get it uh, on there. It was Absolutely. it was young people that advised me to try it. And of course, I haven't done much with it, but now the phone in streaming live on it. Right. And it's a huge platform. It's where everybody sort of plays things like Fortnite and Grand Theft Auto and all that sort of thing. Yes, it's a different platform, different different clientele. Yeah, different clientele and big people. And I think it's incredible just, I mean, you know, I don't know if I'm managing to hide my excitement just about where this phone in could go. Yes, but listen, the more the merrier. I think it should be open to everyone and anyone. Um, and the more people phoning in and sharing different points of view. Absolutely, Kareem. Good for you, sir. Now then, yeah. what are we uh, talking about tonight? Well, I was having a conversation with my mum earlier on, and I think, well, I don't know, and i put it to the viewers, is freedom of speech under threat in this country? Yes, I think it probably is. I mean, you've probably heard about Mr. Piers Morgan. And uh, after the um, interview, the Oprah interview with uh, Meghan and Harry, or Harry and Meghan, um, I yes. felt that they really, really plummeted. You know, I mean, you know, I mean, to to even insult the royal family to that level, there was somebody that's just joined the royal family, risen without trace, as they say, and then you know, bagged herself a prince of the realm and then, you know, dumped all over the royal family. Yep. You know, and I thought, no, no, no. Now, Piers, fantastic broadcaster. I mean, what anybody thinks of Piers is an excellent broadcaster, a consummate professional, you know, and a, a, a national newspaper editor, all these things. He's done the lot, you know, and there's also a lot of fun and he puts up with a lot as well. Now, uh, you know, he was on a mainstream program with a massive audience. I shouldn't think the audience will be so massive now. And he said that he really, you know, did not believe a word of what she was saying, that sort of stuff. Now, 
then it went, it was complained about, it went, and Piers is 100% in the clear with it. Yes, he was right. Uh, you know? The stuff he was saying was true. And, and he I, was I'm saying that he's had enough of it. You know, there are people yeah. trying to gag us. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of Piers. I don't agree with everything he says. No. However, uh, that's the point. You don't need to agree with everybody. No. And you need to respect people's different opinions. Uh, and I think that's the problem with freedom of speech. If you don't agree with someone, they shoot you down now. Yeah, well, if if you watch if you watch a lot of social media, uh, and I'll not mention the platforms because obviously it's a bit sensitive. Now, you know, if if you disagree with somebody, they then start calling you mentally ill. Uh, yeah, you know. Now, come on, there's a big change with having a difference of opinion to having a serious illness. Yeah, um, I'll give you an example as well that was on the program. Uh, that Piers was on. I don't, he wasn't on at the time, but they had a speaker on uh, from a group coming on and deadly serious, Scotty, was wanting uh, people not to applause anymore, not to clap their hands because it affects some people in society. It makes them anxious. Uh, and I just thought, are we you know, going mad in society now that we can't, we can't do anything without offending or upsetting. We're, we're going completely mad. Somebody had put on um, a, a group tonight. Uh, where does the, when I grew up, we had the yeah. expression, shut your geggy. Where does it come from? And people said, oh, your geggy, oh, it's your mouth, your mouth. So I just informed them that being a theatre man, that it's to do with small street theatres and other street theatre owners, particularly during Glasgow Fair around the 1850s, would say to each other, yeah, it's time you shut your geggy. In other words, you, you, you closed your business down so the rest of us can get a look in, you know? And, and, and a lady was saying, oh, it's, 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 it's verbal cruelty and stuff like that to say that to somebody. Now, come on, you know, have we lost the plot? Oh, I, I, I think... I mean, I, I think I phoned you during the week uh, with one of the questions about the, the dogs doing the toilet. And Dog pot. I was shot down. And I think, Scotty, you'll know this yourself. Whatever opinion you have or whatever you say, there will always be people that will just totally disagree and shoot you down and try to make you feel very small. But that's the nature of social media. They don't read the stream. They just comment on the yeah. last post. You see, yeah. and 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 yeah. that's the problem. And they use very chosen words that they've heard, like delusional. Uh, oh, you're yeah. delusional if you think differently to them. I mean, the rubbish I got off Scottish nationalists for saying, you know, how important the Queen was as head of state. Oh, yeah. they were doing the nut and calling me a union, all sorts of things. That was the, That's the mild one, you know. Oh, again, Scotty. Before I started listening to you, I think that's been a couple of years now, you know, I wasn't a big fan of the monarchy. And I, to be fair, I wouldn't be out waving the flag. But no. after listening to you and the callers, I now I do understand the importance of the monarchy in terms of tourism, the money they bring in. And they are, they, like, people might not like it, but they are very popular. And I think, as I've said before, for 56 pence a year out your tax. Absolutely. Absolutely, a, nothing at all. A bargain. But the other thing, Kareem, and I've got to remind your good self of this. You're absolutely uh -huh. right about the tourism and about the individuals, the family and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, Her Majesty the Queen is curator and custodian of the crown. And the uh -huh. crown is our symbol of authority. And until we uh -huh. change that, nothing should ever change. In America, it's the stars and stripes. You know, yeah. uh, I don't think it should change at all, Scotty. I think I think it really it's the envy of the world. A lot of people oh. are across the, the 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 world are really envious, and that there's just such an interest. To me, I feel I believe the royal family should have privacy. That's just my opinion. They're a family. Let them have a private life, and that that's just my opinion. I know other people. We see them like celebrities and want to know absolutely everything and anything, and that's okay as well. But that's just my opinion, and 
you know, regarding the, the royal family. Absolutely. Well, well, I mean, you used to hear very little about their personal lives until in 1969, there yeah. was a film came out. Now, that film seems to have kind of disappeared, but it was a fabulous film. We all absolutely adored it. And it showed the royal family just doing normal things, you know? They're just a family like any other family. Yes. At the end of the day behind closed doors. Yes, you know? and I mean, they're born into it. And I'll be absolutely 100%. I will raise my hand up to the big man, Kareem. I, yeah. wouldn't, I wouldn't swap with them. Yeah, right. So <laughs> there we go. Well, listen, Scotty, it's been a, ple a pleasure speaking to you. I'm still not feeling 100% that it's cold, but I'm just so glad it's now the weekend, so I'll get to relax. But you I'm get strong and well, show. Karim, because good people are scarce. Sorry, I didn't hear you there, Scotty. You get strong and well, because good people are scarce. That's very kind. Thank you, Scotty. <laughs> I'll speak to you tomorrow night. You have a great day. Absolutely. Talk. And you, Karim. Did you do that? Thank you, dude. Bye now. Bye bye, top man. Right, that's the stuff. You're live on Scotty's phone. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. David, are you okay? Hello, uh, David, how are you getting on, La? Nice to hear from you. David, I'm beside myself with excitement. We're live streaming on Twitch, and we're live streaming on YouTube, and we're live streaming on Facebook. That's, oh, that, I, I, see, that's, that's Twitch. Like, did you want money off your Twitch? No. Oh, I don't no, 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 it's, it's absolutely free. You sign up and get on with it. Right. I was trying to think about John the other night and something went wrong. I don't know what happened on other tablet and other laptop, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so wait, talk about Piers Morgan, understand that it, it's, it's out of hand. Do you know what I mean, son? You know? Well, you need to be able to express yourself, David. I mean, everybody from a baby wants to express uh -huh. themselves. You know, you know, and we want to, I mean, who's afraid of it? Who is I, afraid of it? You don't I, want to be offensive, like singing sectarian songs, singing racist songs. That's offensive. But giving out your opinion, oh, no. You know, I spoke to this all last week. Yes. Then, shut, shut your daddy, shut your daddy. I remember that as a wee boy, I know what you're saying, you all know, shut your daddy, you're not allowed to say, to say, shut your daddy, you know? Absolutely. It's so annoying, you it, know? It's very annoying, David, and, uh, you know, uh, we're getting a bit fed up being told that we can't even say things. It's awful, Scotty, right? Oh, I, I can't stay too long because it's, it's got to be your nice show. Anyway, me and a monkey. I was speaking to him last night on the phone. Yes. <laughs> I was speaking to Peter Clock in the morning last oh. night. And what a laugh we had. He's an amazing person. He's man. a lovely you person, know. Numpty. He'd actually, but don't oh, tell him I said okay. that. No, I won't. Anyway, he, he might phone you next. I don't really know. He texted me tonight before you came on. <laughs> Fantastic. Lovely, lovely stuff. <laughs> David. Also, but sorry, continue. No, no, I was just saying it's I was just saying it's great to hear from you. And, That's and fun, you know you can you know you can have two calls a night now. That's good then, and right, so uh Monty Heath wants John to come on the line, my John, but John sent you a text, you'll see it soon, you'll see your text. John's got bad anxiety, he's taking a big text. You might see it very soon on your computer. All right. Uh, I just want to speak about John. John's not really too good, but he'll be all okay. I'm looking after him. Aha, uh -huh. excellent stuff. Just a wee minute oh, now. This phone's going daft here. Yeah. That's okay, it. What's going on? It's daft. What's happening there? No, no, it's just everything's going off at the one time, you know. Is that oh, I see my mind. Yes. <laughs> everything's going off at the one time. Lovely to hear from you. And did you do? Top man, thank you, do all the best, la. There we are. That's our David. Amazing stuff. So much happening tonight. Now, uh, Gordon says hello from we Oliver and me. A very good evening, Scott. He says David. Larky says good evening, Mister McClure. I hope you're well. Good evening, Scott. He says Angel. There we are. Straight to the point. Categorical. Absolutely, totally agree, Scotty. GMB isn't the same without Piers Morgan. Fantastic. Good evening, says Sue. You're live on Scottish Funny, who's that? Hello? 
uh, somebody that got cold feet. Don't panic. It's Scotty McClure you're talking to. I enjoy Mr. Morgan's chat show on GMB. He just went on and on. The co-host didn't get a word in, which annoyed me. Well, Jerry, yes. But, I mean, very interesting. Scotty, what's your opinion? Uh, so there you are. Oh, yes, the factory closing down. Well, Sue, I don't comment, obviously, on individual businesses. But any loss of jobs is tragic for Scotland. Terrible. Losing their jobs. Uh, so there were my partner's been there 40 years, says Sue. My heart goes out to you both. Strength to you, I say. And let's hope new jobs come on. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, hashtag float high, the first lord of the internet. We're live on the internet phone in. We're streaming on Twitch, on YouTube, and on Facebook. Do come and join us. We'll probably add some more platforms as time goes by. This is actually the first. This is phone in 12, but it's actually phone in one of our big phone ins Friday night, Saturday night. We obviously do some popping up during the week, but feel free to give us a call. 0141 628 and 9795. You'll see it on the bottom of your screen. You're live at Scotty's phone in, who's that? Thank you, do, Scotty, it's Glenn. Hey, Glenn. Are you from the Midlands or are you from Sheffield? What do you like to be known as? I'm 100% Yorkshire, Scotty. You're a Yorkshire lad, really, aren't you? Yeah, definitely. That's right, Midlands is, yeah. Midlands starts Derbyshire, you really, don't it? Hey, I'll tell you. Now then. Well, you see, I, I think if you've got a chance of being a Yorkshireman, you're not going to turn it down, Glenn. You've never been a heritage, I You know? I mean, I had a friend lived up in the Highlands, and he'd yeah. been educated at Winchester School, obviously in Winchester. He was a Wickhamist. Manners maketh men. And, <laughs> um, you know, he loved it down there, the south. And we were watching, I think it was Heartbeat, and he said, oh. he said, I'd love to live there if I didn't live here. I mean, look at the Chuckle Brothers sky. Fantastic. Brilliant, brilliant characters, Paul and Barry, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, the whole Yorkshire is just a lovely, lovely place. Yeah, definitely. It's proud people are. Just like Scottish people. They're, they're good. Oh, aye, they're very good people. And I'll tell you what I love. Uh, I love so many things about Yorkshire people. One of the things, they won't put up with crap food. You know, even 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 somebody with not a not a farthing to scratch, they'll uh, they'll pop there, into man. chippy, and if they get anything, they'll say, "Excuse me, love, you change them chips, a bit soggy." Scotty, you're making me hungry. Ah, eee. Well, I used to pop in. I I mean, one of the reasons I got this size was fish and chips in Sheffield. Eighteen stone, pure muscle, sky. Pure muscle, solid muscle, most of it between the yeah. ears. The Yorkshire fish cake. Oh, now what about uh, what about a pot sandwich with oh. crackling and apple? Oh, and a nice sausage roll. Oh. A vegetarian lattice slice and a nice oh. chicken sauce. Lovely. Fantastic. Just the best, Glen. I mean, we love Yorkshire. The, the culture and the, the culture of it is just. Oh, just a to be honest. Hey, Glenn, do you remember Toad Les that used to come on the phone in? Oh, I do, Scotty. Yeah. He was a great one. Back in the 90s. Yeah, he was a uh, right country lad, and uh, I said to him, uh, son Al today, Les, he went, aye, hello, Scotty. I said, hello, aye, you'd frightened him, Scotty. <laughs> yeah, the right left me empty, yeah. I loved him. I, I he was laughing at me because I asked him one night if you could repair Wellington boots. And he was in fits. He went, no, they don't repair, Scotty. I said, well, if they get a bit of a, a slit in them, you know, a bit of glass or something. And I said, what about one of them puncture repair outfits you used to get for bike? And he, I said, the little red patches. He went, no, red patches, no. He was pure legend, Scotty. What told you this guy was an old... It was quality, actually. It was from Dinnington. Yeah, definitely. Pure <laughs> legend, Scotty. It's a bit of great stuff. Tired lads from Dinnington, and he used to tell me he'd been a golf caddy to Bing Crosby and Bob Hope. Oh, what, a, what a star. What a star. I mean, that's not bad, is it? Well, 
That's you know, if you're going to go golfing, you might as well go golfing with Bing Crosby and Bob Hope. Just, just a normal day to day life, really, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, then he, then he came across you, Sky. And then he came across me, and that was it. Yeah. I'm the only man in the country who's an honorary Yorkshireman. <laughs> the only, the only man. Hang on, here's fun going again. <laughs> we'll have to sort this out. There we go. Oh, we're having the night and a half here, I'll tell you. This is great stuff, Glenn. Do you know what I mean? Glenn, do you know Twitch well? Do you know your way around Twitch? I do, yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Have a look at the Scotty McClue Twitch channel. I love the YouTube videos, you know, back in there. Aye. Susie Poozie. Susie Poozie, very woozy. Fantastic. She was cheeky, weren't she? <laughs> she were a cheeky and right, I better dash, you take great care. Oh, Have a good night. Anyway. And you, la, take great care of your dear self. And dig you do. The ta la la. Fantastic. That's our Glenn from Yorkshire, yeah. proper Yorkshire stuff, that, you know, I mean. None of your nonsense on there, I say. Right, who have we got here? You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Eh, no. Oh, I can't even see you. Hang on. I'll have to get you back. <laughs> right, who have we got here? You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in. Hi, good evening, Scotty. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Who's that? Uh, my name is Charlie. Charlie, how lovely to have you with us. Is it my Charlie? Yes. Yes. How lovely to hear from you, Charlie. Yes, thank you. Is it Charlie M? Hello? Yeah, I'm sorry. Is it Charlie M? Can, can you hear me okay? I can. Is it Charlie M? No, not Charlie. Not Charlie M. No, no problem at all. Right, go, Charlie. Charlie. Charlie, excellent. What, what can I do for you? I just wanted to say something about Abba. Have released. Charlie, do you keep wandering away from your mic? Okay, is that better? Uh, yeah, a bit better. But if you can talk into your mic. You're very faint. Right, hold on, Scotty. Yeah. Is that better? That's a bit better, Charlie. Yeah, if you could keep it like that, that'd be great. Okay, good. So, what I'm saying, Scotty, is Abba, a fan. Yeah, I love it. And good, good. Um, and uh, Abba being bad, I honestly think. Charlie, I really honestly, genuinely can't hear a word, la. I'm so sorry. So we'll have to say ta to you for now. There we go. That's our Charlie. But I couldn't, I genuinely couldn't hear a word there, guys. Crazy, crazy stuff. Anyway, who have we got? Scotty has done family in a town or a city. Done family has got an abbey, not a cathedral. So I would say it's a town. The king sits in Done town, drinking the blood red wine. So Sam says, I'm late tonight. I was at the pictures. The numbers are rising tonight. David, very popular. A wee Twitch view for you, Scotty. Thank you very much, Larky. I see you've put a uh, upper case in. Scotty, is politics designed to bend the rules for the select few? Well, the masses are left to pay the price. Yes, Kareem, I think that is what's happening. So there you go. They shouldn't, you see. Uh, they should be absolutely above board. We need to have a word about that. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? It's a bit better, Charlie, but it's as if you're coming and going. I don't know if you're moving around. Okay. Um, is that any better? That is but much better. Okay. Good, good. So what are the things, Scotty? I think possibly the new album from Abba that wouldn't surprise me. Do you know who the biggest seller of all time was? 
Jimmy Shand. Jimmy Shand's lovely. Outsold Elvis and everything because everybody danced to do Jimmy Shand for about 50 years. Okay. Incredible. Yeah, yeah, absolutely incredible. Of course, his stuff is brilliant. I'm a huge Jimmy Shand fan. On some social media, Charlie, yesterday, it said, um, <laughs> it said, what band absolutely blew your mind? And I said, Jimmy Shand. I like my accordion stuff, Charlie. Charlie, a joy to hear you. Thanks very much for coming back on. And dinky do. We love ABBA. Fantastic. Right, to the telephones as quickly as possible. Dinky do, good man. A wee twitch. Excellent. It's not much better. John, it wasn't a, a great deal better, but he was coming and going. That's what was, you know, made me think. Is maybe not. Are you not on the radio anymore, Scotty? No, Sue. Haven't been on the radio for over a year. So there we are. But I am in my 30th year of the massive, mighty megaphone. So that's why we thought we'd bring it back on the internet and just grow it from a little seed. So lovely. So tell everybody about it. Tell 10 to tell 10. Get sharing big style. Tell everybody about Scotty McClue who is live here just for you. Dink you do. And feel free to come on and have a wee chat with us. That would be marvelous. And remember, we're on Twitch, we're on YouTube, and we're on Facebook. That's what it's all about, I say. Uh, here we go here. Now then. Yes. So if you're watching on Facebook, if you can subscribe and tap the bell, that would be great. We need to get these subscribers up. The Facebook channel is the world's best kept secret. Hardly anybody knows about it. So don't tell anyone. <laughs> Get on there and subscribe, guys. Fantastic. We're at 2,807. So by the end of the night, it'd be nice if we got that up a good whack. That's what I say to you. Wonderful stuff. So there we go, John. No, it wasn't a lot better, John, but who knows? Fantastic stuff. Good quality calls. I'll just put that up. Good calls. Now, should we ban tobacco? Make it illegal, right? Because obviously it's no good for people. You can still buy cigarettes and cigars. I don't know if you can buy pipe tobacco. Can you still buy that? But none of it is on display, I'm very glad to say. So that's a good thing. Yeah, excellent stuff. Can you believe we've been up already for 28 minutes? Goodness, it, we're halfway through the show. Just amazing. Good calls. Yes, absolutely. The internet's the way forward. I think so, Colin. I think that we're actually doing the right thing. Okay, it might be quite small beer at the moment, but this will grow and grow and grow. That will become the best known telephone number in the world. 0141-628-9795. It should be free to call because I'm paying for the number. So there you have it, you see. That's my gift to you. The good burgers of the universe. Scotty McClure's internet phone in just for you. And I thought we'd make it Friday night, Saturday night. Uh, Scotty, can you believe we got a call from Wolfgang the other night? Not heard them since they're one of seven days. David, absolutely outstanding. Great guy, great call, by the way. We'll maybe hear from him tonight. We shall see what is what. I'm just wondering, how do I share this? Let me have a quick look and see if there's a way I can share the whole thing um, onto the, the, the different platforms. I'll work on that. We'll be adding platforms as we build. But the Twitch, follow Scotty McClue on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue. And the Twitch, the standard of uh, transmission is outstanding. There's a nice old-fashioned one, the standard of transmission. We like that. Scotty McClure, legend. Thank you, Glenn Peacock. Friday and Saturday. Yes, Suzanne. So I think we'll do a Saturday tomorrow at 10 o'clock sharp. That would be rather good if we did that as well. Wonderful. Now, keep your comments coming, of course. 
Lots to talk about. If you've got something to say about banning tobacco, making it totally illegal, I don't think that we should actually be knowingly selling poison. So there we go. So things like drugs, alcohol, tobacco, cut right down on all that. There we are. We've had a pandemic. We've had a bit of a scare. We don't want that again, I say. So there we go. Fantastic. Now, uh, do give us a call. You'll see the number at the bottom of your screens, 0141-628-9795, 0141-628-9795. We'll maybe bring in the uh, TikTokers as well. I think that would be quite a nice touch. So I'm just going to check. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're watching it, but you haven't subscribed, do subscribe. It might be an idea for us to make it that you have to actually subscribe. I think that might be rather a good idea. And I've uploaded a lot of new videos for you. Twitch, you'll see a number of videos on Twitch. So get into that and please share, spread the word and follow Scotty underscore McClue. If you've got a Twitter account, follow at Scotty McClue. So let's get that built up as well. You should see that on your Twitch account now. Very, very important, très important. And uh, what I'm going to do, a bit of French there, see what I just did there. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to check out the Facebook and see what you're all up to on there. And then we'll maybe bring in the TikTokers. There we have it. Fantastic. Oh. Uh, there we are. You can hear us live. We're streaming beautifully on Facebook. We like that. Thank you very much for that. Just what we like. I just love that. Now, there we go. Hello, Scotty. Hope you're well. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Karim is also watching on the uh, Facebook Live. So that's just incredible, guys. And we'll add more platforms as we go along. I've got 10,000 people on LinkedIn, but you have to ask permission to broadcast live streaming on LinkedIn. There we are. And we've also got other uh, Facebook pages we could be streaming to as well. But that means I have to wait till we see get some more pennies. So if anybody's feeling generous, you'll see at the top of the YouTube channel, there are some tabs you can clap them and buy us a hot pie. You're live on Scotty's Funny and who's that? Scotty, it's me, myself, and the crew. Hello. Nup to who? How are we? Ha <laughs> ha, marvellous. Super, super smashing great. Now, what are you thinking of the later time for the big phone in? I'm quite happy if you keep it on at 10 o'clock sharp. 10 o'clock sharp. What about That's during the week? Right. Are we all right at 9 o'clock if we decide to pop up during the week? Oh, I mean, I could find, you know, as long as the Star Trek's finished, you the, know, then Spotty can come on. Do you like your Star Trek? Oh, I want to finish the eight. All ah, right. It's excellent. We love that. Yeah. Fantastic. So no one during Star Trek, that's fine. Right, no one during Star Trek. What if it's on during the football? Is that fine? Oh, right enough. Um, well, it was, I didn't think the football was on, Scotty, until you mentioned it. No, absolutely. Is there, there's no football tonight, is there? No, 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 I'm aware of. No, not that I'm aware of. I don't think there'll be any football tonight. Anyway, apart from that, what's on you talking rubbish? What are we talking rubbish about? About the tobacco. The tobacco. I, I, it's time, I take it you smoke. Well, what am I going to do for a cigarette? If, uh, the, the you don't smoking. need any of that stuff. You're just kidding yourself. No, no, listen, I've been smoking for the last 40 years. Right, so well, that's time you gave up more. then. Time you I'm packed in. Rubbish. Time you packed in, Lala, I'm telling you. If McClure can do it, you can do it. It's a time you change your mind. No, 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 it's not good for your mind. You've got a brilliant mind. But if you oh, if you mind. don't smoke, then that'll improve it. Well, listen, anyway, what am I going to roll my cigarettes with? You don't need to roll cigarettes. You'll be finished with them. You'll be saving a fortune. You can send it in to Scotty McClure. I'll be going around the bus stops looking in the ashtrays. <laughs> <laughs> You're a terrible <laughs> man. You're a terrible man, Dumpty I'm telling you. I'll tell you. You're talking rubbish, right? I'm talking you. a lot of sense, and well, you <laughs> know it. Anyway, 
It was good to hear David on. Hi, David was he was saying that you were uh, <laughs> bending his ear. Amazing. I'll tell you. You're some China. I wouldn't have got a London. <laughs> Listen, you take great care of your dear self and dinky do. Thank you, Scotty. I'm away, true. Give up the fags. There's an empty heat, so that's him. Tell us what you think, folks. We're talking about banning tobacco. There we go. Fantastic. Um, apparently, I can go on to 30 different platforms with this. That is amazing. There we are. Be listening on Saturday to the show. Thanks, Kareem. Dinky do. You're live on Scotty's phone. In. Who's that? Scotty's Glenn again. Hey, Glenn, how are you, La? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. I'm just the football correspondent. Tomorrow's Scotland plays, guy. What time? Uh, quarter way. So will they be finished by 10 o'clock? Should be. Uh, then England play Sunday. Right, well, we're, I don't think we're on on Sunday. Then so, Scotland play on Tuesday, England Wednesday. Right, well, we'll keep it going because I'm not going to be put off, Glenn. Scotty McClure's far too big to be put off by football. Well, you keep an eye on games, though, Scotty. On I might do. I'm, I mean, I'm really genuinely not too bothered, you know. Yeah, it's good for the nation, though, isn't it, if you can... Spread the word, I suppose. If we can spread the word, but I mean, we might find, I, I don't know if people, will, the games will start to wither because McClue's now on the internet. England and Scotland might start to fall a bit. They might fall off the, they might fall off the radar. As soon as Scott is on, I think definitely, I think there's a chance. See, what's wrong with the figures for the football? See, I, I, everybody's watching Scotty McClue. They just, I think they're just having it on in background, really. Have it on, yeah, the, the football on in background. Keeps on, Dan. Keeps got you on full blast. You don't want to miss fun, England. Thanks for that. So, that. so tomorrow night, eight o'clock. So they'll be clear by ten. They'll be clear by ten. Yeah. Ten. Ten. So there we are. Eight. Eight. Well, nine thirty. On the midweek, I reckon about same time, Sky. Nine. Is it nine? Well, ten on Monday. Aye, I think that's it. Well, we're nine. Well, ten. You see, during week. Do you think we should think pop up during week, or are we spoiling people? I'll still turn up in week, yeah. Yeah, so so a bit of a pop up and a bit of chat. I think, um, like I said, just keep it on in background and keep Scotty on to full blast. That's what it's all about. Hey, and Definitely did you do? Better. Fantastic. Yeah, big man. I'll see you, la la. There we are. That's our Glenn. But uh, you get two calls a night. Glenn was on earlier, but that's fine. He's come on as our football correspondent. Um, hi, Scotty, says Susan. Hi, Susan, dinky do. Uh, I'll be listening on Saturday, says Kareem, yes. Scotty, can you explain why we've never got any good talk radio anymore? What happened? Why did all the talented presenters like you end up online and not on the radio? Why is radio so boring? You would need to ask the people that own these companies. I would imagine they bought all the local stations, shoved them together, and they're just treating them as one big jukebox. So that's it, and it is very, very dull. Kareem has just sent me one great British pound. You are very, very kind, Kareem. Uh, Scotland game will be finished for 9.30 tomorrow, says David. So Scotty McClure, 10 o'clock, guys. Spread the word. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. All right, mate. Uh, it's John Fadenborough, mate. John Fadenborough. How are you, La? Um, doing great yourself. I better for hearing you. I uh, I just want to phone up uh, about your uh, numpty heat that was on earlier that shouldn't uh, ban the tobacco. I can because uh, I I well uh, I'm I'm a smoker myself, mate, and I only smoke about uh, four or five a week if you're lucky. Right now, that's four so, or five too many, but it's still no bad. Aye, but uh, it wouldn't bother me, mate, if the, the backy or the fags and that were banned. So you can tell Numpty Heat that uh, if he wants to go around and rake in the ashtrays, I'll be right in front of him emptying all the ashtrays, so he can he. You're a um, top man, John. That's the way to go, I see. I mean, uh, listen, we don't have things like we used to put arsenic in our medicine. We don't do it now. In days we used to suck smoke into our lungs, which are designed for reoxygenating our blood. We don't do that now. 
you know, and it's right, the right. same with, with, with alcohol. You know, we don't need all the alcohol we drink. No, well, I like a drink myself, Scotty. A wee uh, refreshment. I only have a wee drink at the weekend. Ah, Ken. That's it. You and, see, you're uh, a top as, man. As, as, as the usual Scotsman does. Yes. Uh, we need like to get everybody on track like you. Uh, uh, aye, exactly. I, I'm one of the Gidgeons, mate. I'm you're one, one of the Gidgeons, son. You're good or right. <laughs> Ken. All right, so I just thought I'd give a wee phone call just to let you Ken that... Uh, and also to let Numpty eat Ken that uh, there's not going to be any ashtrays for him to rake because I'm going to empty them all before he gets John, them. you're a top man. Are you enjoying the phone in? I'm absolutely loving it, mate. I, 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 I used to listen to you when you were on the radio. Fourth Two and, and Scott FM. And you were absolutely spot on. I loved you. I used to get a great laugh <laughs> Ken, listening to you on the radio. And actually, this is my first time Listening to you and watching you. Fantastic. I hope you're not getting too much here, shot. I'm having a great mate. Ah. And uh, all I like to say as well, P, is uh, my missus, tell her I love her very much, Mary. And uh, I couldn't do with her. Mary, John loves you very much and he just couldn't do with you. So there's that's good praise. All right. Go ahead. Thank you, do, John. You have a great rest there, night, mate. You take all care, right. Lala. Night, night. All right, night, night. Top man. There we go. That's our John for Edinburgh. And uh, he's just saying, John's in love with Mary. That's his missus. And uh, he's just saying to Numpty Heed, he will empty every ashtray so Numpty Heed can he get a dog end. That's what it's about. These are the people we need. So there we are. All smokers should be on a register, says Jim. Good one, Jim. I like that. I like that idea. There should be a register for smokers. And uh, everybody should know who they are. Yes, indeed. What about maybe not serving them in some of the shops of the smoke? There we go. The government will never ban cigarettes. The revenue along with drink they generate. Well, they'll have to do something else, George. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. Are you okay? David, we're fine, lie. Yes, of course. What could I do for you? It's really getting clever about the tobacco industry, certain cigarettes, right? So I can take away the tobacco and cigarettes, etc., and also the vapors. But if the government got involved in the uh, cigarettes, is that true? They're making money out of it? Oh, of course they're making money. It's called duty. They're making revenue. Yeah. Do you know, do you know, the, well, the First World War was where cigarettes really went bananas. There you go. Ah, there you go. You see, because you will not mention the name, but you had the wee willy ones. Yeah. You know, I, me and you know, both, Scotty, will never take away tobacco and cigarettes, Scotty. You know, I'm just talking normal. But I think, I think the people, I think the people should stop it, and then the government will have to just sing for their money. Uh, right, okay, I, I spoke like 20, 30 years ago. Aha. Uh -huh. You know, I'm now 51 anyway. I, I get you, but this course, it will never happen. I get numpty heat like cigarettes, so does John. John also smokes cigarettes and vapors. Ah, but they, they, would oh, love, they would love to be clear of all that. I'm glad you stopped smoking, I'll tell you. Good for you, David. You think it would be a problem? A big stushy. A big carry on. Ban the fags. Oh, there's a big, there's a big trouble, seriously, son, you know? Aye, well, wait, wait. We'll see what, we'll see what everybody's saying to it. We'll, we'll see what everybody's saying to it. Aye, it's true. It's a good conversation about that. I get that. But, Scotty, it would cause a big war. A war, a riot. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh yes. what? <laughs> right, I'll put that to the nation, right. David. Right. Dinky do, Lala. 
There we are. That's our David on for a wee chit chat there. He reckons if we banned tobacco, it would cause what we call in Scotland a stushy, right? And it would even lead to what we call in Scotland a stramash. So there we are, a stushy or a stramash. Now, who we got here? All smokers should be in a register. The government will never ban cigarettes. They, all the revenue and money that they generate, George says. Scott FM with Scotty. Thank you, Suzanne. Granny and Auntie Fanny, dearie me. I was, I was young in these days. Hi, Scotty McClure, says Aaron. We should make all smokers work for two weeks, mandatory community service a year on cardio and cancer wards. The doctors and nurses could get some extra holidays that way. There's you telling me what you think. We love your opinions. You're watching Scotty McClue. Get to your telephones. The number's doing the bottom. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Scotty. Yes. What are you talking about tobacco for? Who's that? Never what? Give me a first drugs. name. Never mind tobacco. Give no me a first name. We can't stop drugs. Never Can you? Hello? Can you give me a first name? My first name is Pedro. Pedro. That'll do me. Right, Pedro. So what are you shouting about? Tell us again. We can't stop drugs. Never mind tobacco. Why are you worrying about tobacco? No, but I think it's a start. I think if you get rid of tobacco and you cut down on alcohol, then people will wonder why they're looking at drugs. Well, I think you're delusional, and I don't think it will work. I think you just let people do what they want. Let them do what they want, and we'll see what's what. Well, we can't let them do illegal things. So there we are. There's Jim. That's fantastic. Good one, Jim. We love that. There we have it. Uh, and there's Suzanne. Fantastic. Excellent. Your granny and your auntie, Fanny. Dear, I was young in those days, says Suzanne. We're just getting your um, stuff here, folks. Fantastic. There we go. And there is McClure popping up just for you. Wonderful. Right. Uh, to the telephones as quickly as possible. We've got a lot to get through, and we've only got about 10 minutes left of tonight's fabulous, fabulous show. Tell 10 to tell 10. Now, guys, have you shared all of this? All right, because this is your phone in, and the sooner we get sharing and the quicker we get building, the bigger this will become. The more opinion we can get on, the more people will come and join us. And then it's happy days, I say to you. So think about that, please. Very, very important. Right, what have we got here? I'm just, I'll put that one back up for you. There we are. Scotty McClure's megaphone. Did you see what I just did there with some of the comments? Thought that was amazing. Uh, now, these are things that as we get slicker, because remember, I've started all this from scratch. So uh, there's a lot for me to take in, and uh, we'll share it with you. That's what it's about. 0141628 Get to the telephones as soon as you possibly can. Uh, we'll be adding platforms. We're live on YouTube. If you can subscribe and tap the bell if you're watching on YouTube. And if you're watching on Twitch, Follow me, Scotty underscore McClue. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Good evening. Good evening. Who is this? And how Who's this? This was Jerry again. Jerry, lovely to hear from you. I just need a first name. I'm not interested in identifying anybody. I just need a first name so I know what to call you. Yes. Very good tonight. Very good. Is that all right? All right. Good. Yeah. I've been called a lot. But uh, going back to old words you're using, a stramash. A stramash and a stushy, Jerry. <laughs> That's really good. I'll tell you, was that not Arthur Montfort with a stramash? Oh, yes, there was a bit of stramash. I'll tell you another one I loved was a little bit of argy bargy on the pitch. <laughs> oh, he was so polite, wasn't he? <laughs> the referee there, the referee not happy, I'm afraid. There's a little bit of argy-bargy on the pitch. <laughs> also, uh, 
Oh, and the oh, and there he goes. It's a red card, and he's going off. We're having to give boo, boo. <laughs> Scottish television, STV Arthur. He was a good friend of mine. I knew him very well. He was a lovely man. We went to the same school. Oh, really? Yes. Although Arthur was obviously a good bit older than me. <laughs> what school was he at? Uh, well, I'll not go into all that. All right. Um, did you ever hear of... Uh, I, loved, I loved his tweed jackets as well, but he was an absolute gent. He was the loveliest man. He was just the same off the telly as he was on it. Well, I used to see him quite a bit in the, the um, what do you call it, the north side of the city. Yes. Him and his wife after he retired from Scottish. Yes, absolutely. That was Arthur. But what a nice man. But I loved his jackets, his tweed jackets. And they used to flare with the early television cameras. We call it flaring. It sort of did that. Aye. Uh, Tell me, do you know anything of uh, the, what's it, the lobby? The lobby, another old word. The lobby. Hi, the lobby, that's right, lobby yes. Doctor. Yes, the lobby, that's right. Uh, the lobby Aye. was, I think, the hall. That's right. You know, the lobby. And I but, don't know where that, and I'll tell you another one, a good Scottish one, was the shunky for the lavatory. Have you not? Right, I'll tell you where it came from. Yeah, you used to say, I think he's, a, he's away to the shunky. <laughs> Is that only in Greenock? No, no, he used to shout, Is Willie, is Willie about there? Ah, he's about, he'll be done in a minute. He's, at the, he's in the shunky. Right, and of course, you know, people thought, but I'll tell you where it came from. All the beautiful vitreous china that was used for lavatories and wash hand basins and baths was made in a big factory in Barhead called That's Shanks right. of Barhead. That's right. That's and right. Shanks, and that, they used to call it the Shanky because it had Shanks oh. written on it. And then Glasgow oh. people changed it to Shunky. Shunky. Just oh, the way they speak. So they were actually saying <laughs> Shanky, but they're saying Shunky. <laughs> I bet the way people go, I thunks for that, thunks, oh. instead of oh, thanks. Oh, you're not making this story up. No. No, no, would I make anything up? <laughs> never, never. Well, but, uh, what's your friend tonight? Ken, Ken. Are you oh, calling me creative? <laughs> I, I would. What would you say? So, what about the lobby dosser? Who came along with the lobby dosser? The lobby do he's a lobby dosser. Well, I think that was for people that had had a drink and they fell asleep in the hotel. No, I, I don't. Well, it might have been. It, but yeah, you might have got a shaky doon in the hall. <laughs> you say, listen, why don't you stay at mine the night? You've only got one bedroom. I'll give you a shaky doon in the lobby. I'll throw it. And you threw out a quilt and a cushion. You threw out a quilt and a cushion into the hall. You went, there you go. You get yourself off to bed. Like that. And that's when folk woke up in the morning giving it this sort of sound. <laughs> oh, oh, see, my that, mouth. It's like a parrot's that, cage. Give me a shaky doon, by the way. A shake, I'll have a shaky doon in the, in the lobby. <laughs> I'll be fine. And you only got a few hours sleep, because by the time you actually went to your bed, it was usually something like 20 to 4 in the morning. <laughs> by the time you get in, how come the pub shut at 11? And people get in at things like three o'clock. Oh, it must have, I don't know. That's a, that's Mind you, I think they maybe had to take their time going up the road, you know, because they were taking the whole road to themselves. <laughs> so maybe a two-mile walk was like a five-mile walk by the time you'd yeah. zigzagged like a hare. And the amount of people you met. Oh, I, you were, I remember a great one was a friend of mine used to go in, and his wife would say, where have you been? He said, darling, darling, don't start. Listen, I met a man tonight I hadn't seen for 40 years. And that was the excuse for being late. I had a lot to catch up with, didn't they? Oh, absolutely. But that was one that you, you, they used to give the missus. And they also used to say, how come my missus can see a blonde hair on my collar across a dark room at three o'clock in the morning, 
Is it can you see the garage door with the headlights on? Do you know? Uh, that all that stuff. I absolutely. And it is, it's it's a bit like And then I remember a guy saying, he says, you know, if you go in and you tiptoe, you take your shoes off, you tiptoe up the stairs, you don't bother going in to get washed out. You just very quietly take your clothes off. Then you very quietly open the bedroom door and you very quietly, you, she's sitting up with a light on going, where have you been? What time do you call this? The thing is, he says, if you go in, you slam the front door, you run up the stairs, you go to the lavvy, you give it a good flush, you go into the bedroom, all you get is... <laughs> you know? It's very strange, isn't it? You, you know, Hello, of course I'm here, Jerry. Where do you think I'd gone? Oh, I thought you'd collapsed into the shunky. Do you think I'd gone away to the shunky? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely talking to you, Jerry. Take great care of yourself and dinky do. Dinky do. Dinky do. There we go. Guys, we've got four minutes left of tonight's phone in. I cannot believe it. What a fantastic program tonight. Right. What are you all saying on here, guys? Uh, you seem to miss my last comment, Scotty. No, I got it, John. Uh, here it goes here. We've got everything here. Thank you, Kareem. Kareem sent me a pound, guys. Apparently, you can tap on YouTube. You tap the little dollar sign. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Scotty, it's my first call. It's really good tonight. Can you stay on your phone a half hour? It's really, really, really good. Are you enjoying it? I don't I don't think we can just because it's difficult to share the video if it's over an hour, you know. <laughs> You're enjoying the crack. What a man you are. <laughs> what are you like? You're a great man. I'm so glad you're enjoying it, Dave. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Please, please stay on even tomorrow night. For another half. Please, please, please. <laughs> we'll go on tomorrow night. We'll get mere nonsense. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's away. There he goes. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who is that? Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in. How are we doing? How are we doing? Who have we got? We've got Pedro again. Pedro, lovely to hear from you. Lovely to hear from you. Because I just want to say I'm thankful for you. I, I grew up in the 90s listening to you in Scott FM. Oh, it was, God. It was absolute brilliant. I, I loved that program because you people were just amazing. I, know, I grew up as a young pup, you know. We loved all that. We loved that. We used to get there. It was so good, Scotty. It was so. This is how I know you just now. I can't believe we're back on the radio. We're back on big style, Pedro. Oh, I love that. Tell me, Pedro. Talking of Pedro, do you remember the Mexican that used to phone? No, I don't know. I can always remember the guy who says, "What are you talking about? Can I talk about nothing more?" I oh, stuff. <laughs> that was it. I we always had all that nonsense. Oh, Loved it. Brilliant. There, brilliant. we'll build this one up, and it'll be just as good. I hope so. I hope so, Scotty. I hope so. And lovely talking to you, Pedro. Dinky do. All the best, my friend. And you, Lala. Fantastic stuff. How are we doing for time here? I can't believe we're running out of time. Oh my goodness, we've got one more minute. So there we go. Now, Scotland game finished. That's excellent. There we are. You seem to miss the comment. I don't know. I don't. Glasgow was built off tobacco and slavery. You're doing an amazing job, says Jim. Thank you, Jim. Scotty, should 12 to 16 years get the COVID vaccine? Well, Kareem will not go into vaccines because the mainstream media does nothing but. Good night, Scotty. Good night, everyone. Good night from Kareem. Uh, hey, yes, Scotty, says McAvoy. From uh, County Cork. Where did Dinky Do come from? I made it up. Is all well with you and the world? There we are. You're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? Hello. 
Good night. Good night, Lala. Thank you very much. There we are. We're out of time, guys. What a fantastic program. Good night. God bless. Dinky do and Tara Lars. Join us tomorrow, 10 o'clock sharp. Be there or be square.